All right, that's the joy of going live, I guess. So <laughs> thanks for your patience. I just needed to get this other device on. So we're doing some recording all the way around. Um, anyways, hello, hello. Thanks for joining us today. Um, but yeah, so obviously we're dealing with fear all over and I brought him, this is Elio, my little pooch, him on live because he's been teaching me a huge lesson on fear. So we're based out of the big island of Hawaii. And yes, like everyone else, we are quarantined in home, only going out for essential items. So we're definitely having to be creative. And this newness brings a lot of fear and anxiety. But this little guy, we've been dealing with a lot of wind on the west side of the big island. That's where we're locating. And he has major fear issues. Um, so as we're sleeping at night, he'll cuddle up next to me and press into me. And as I was doing my gratitude today and my journaling and my devotions, he was just so fearful of this wind. And so his response in fear was to press into me because I was the stable one. He finds comfort in me. And I thought, oh my gosh, what a lesson for us in life that as we are, um, hey guys, hello, hello. Um, as we are struggling in fear and, uh, and uncertainty, that we need to find a source to press into. And I think that's huge and super important for me. I just, I love Jesus. He's been my source of comfort. So I have been pressing into him and I just wanted to share that with you guys today. So another thing I'd like to share before we get started, um, you can start at the beginning. I know we're, we're already into this, you guys, but um, I do do an introdu introduction of myself. I'm the founder visionary from Wine Wine Market. We sell products of purpose and products that mainly help women out of sexual exploitation, provide clean water, build schools. And so we want to just come on five days a week, maybe six, and just bring you some hope because even in a time of distress, there is hope, there is purpose, and we can't lose sight of that. So that's what we're here today. Um, I'm wearing a hat. As you guys can tell, um, as many of you, I'm usually in pajamas, but I'm trying to get up and get my day going. And so some of it is, okay, I'm going to put a little makeup on my face. Um, so a little bit of the makeup got done, but the hair did not. So hence why we're, hat, we're wearing a hat. But being from the Big Island, I don't know if you can say, see this, but it says pleasant thoughts. I wish this was something that we carried at Moi Moi. Maybe we will. They're, they don't currently represent or, or give back in their um, profit. But um, I just think pleasant thoughts. So I'm just trying to fill my mind all the time with pleasant thoughts. And I wanted to share this with you. We share this on our podcast. So not only am I Moi Moi Market, business manager, boat captain for a whale watch operation, but of course we're shut down completely right now. I am the co-host of the Talking Story Podcast, which is a podcast where we are interviewing ordinary people doing extraordinary things hoping to inspire people to use their time, their resources, their money to make a difference in other people's lives. So that is the Talking Story Podcast. We're on Instagram. There's a link in the bio on our the Talking Story Podcast Instagram. So super cool. Check that out. Um, but this is what we share on our podcast this week because we kind of had to make some changes with the coronavirus. And this just ministered to me like hardcore. So here it is. It says, and... The people stayed home and read books and listened and rested and exercised and made art and played games and learned new ways of being and were still and listened more deeply. Some meditated, some prayed, some danced, some met their shadows and the people began to think differently and the people were healed. And in the absence of people living in ignorant, dangerous, mindless, and heartless ways, the earth began to heal. And when the danger passed and the people joined together again, they grieved their losses and made new choices and dreamed new images and created new ways to live and heal the earth fully as they had been healed. By, this is by Kitty O'Mara. And just may that be an encouragement to you, you guys. May this be a time of healing. May this be a time that you're pressing into family, that you're pressing into who you want to be and what you want to do in life and ultimately pressing into your source. And again, for me, that is my Heavenly Father, Jesus. Um, okay, moving on for you guys. Check out Moi Moi Market. We are offering... 25% uh, off all well-being products. And so as you are 
forcing, uh, or forced, I guess, to be at home doing things that you probably wouldn't normally do. And maybe that would be shopping. We would love for you to shop online with us. And um, yeah, your purchases are really making an impact in other people's lives. So last yesterday we talked about Thistle Farms and that's one of the brands. They're located in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, their motto is love heals everybody. Yes, love heals everybody. Um, totally believe that, hopefully you do too. Um, but they do, one, they are having to be creative in how they employ their people. So most people are working from home. Very few are working in the shipping department, so getting orders out to people because they do focus on wellness items. So some of those items are Love Heals Hand Soap. We only have four left, you guys. So four of these are left. And if you are on Big Island, we do deliver. If you're not on Big Island, then we do ship. So uh, since everyone's buying hand soap, why not buy hand soap that is naturally handcrafted by women survivors? So I think we still have a huge role in helping our sisters who are finding hope and, and freedom through organizations like Thistle Farms who still need to keep their lights on. Uh, they're dealing with a very vulnerable people group and they can't shut their doors. They can't lay off people because that would be devastating. I know it's devastating for all of us, but imagine if you were in a situation that you've been exploited or trafficked. So there's a lot there. So this purchase by buying a hand soap that again, y'all are buying anyways, really makes a difference. Followed by the hand soap, we only have one of these left. So first one to grab it is yours. Uh, DM us or you can go on to moinemoinemarket.com. There's a link in the bio and you can buy this. But this is the hand lotion that comes with the hand soap. For whatever reason, the hand lotion is more popular than the hand soap. But again, we only have four of these left right now. So um, yeah, we have essential oils. This is the energy. <laughs> he cracks me up. He's my little man. Uh, this is the energy essential oil. And I use my essential oils on my gyre balls all the time, but the one that is selling, um, we actually sold out of our first round, so this is our second round, but this is the immunity essential oil. So any sheets, um, towels, clothes, okay, are you wanting to go down? Um, our, okay, stay, 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 stay. Um, so sorry, so sorry, um, are being dried with the immunity essential oils, and you can put this in your what you call it? Diffuser. Diffuser. I've been doing the immunity essential oil um, hardcore on the whew, essential oils. By the way, you guys, real fast, talking about the essential oils, I meant to have one and I totally forgot, so I'm so sorry. But we have been partnering with a girl on the Big Island over on the Hilo side named Mercy. And she actually, I wrote an article for the Focus on the Family Clubhouse magazine about her. And it's super cool. She has been spending her time making bracelets that gives back to a local nonprofit here called Heart Ranch. Heart Ranch is a horse therapy program, one in which I am super fond on, of, fond of, and have been volunteering for some time with. And uh, we just decided, you know, so many organizations uh, people doing amazing things to help others. Their biggest need is always funding. And they're, you know, reaching out for grants or looking for uh, people who have, you know, money and they can fund programs. And I thought, man, what if more businesses just decided to uh, help these type of organizations? So I reached out to Marcy and uh, she and I and a few others and a group of, uh, what's their, eighth grade girls have been making these bracelets. And what's really cool is we make these bracelets, and I'll bring some on tomorrow so you guys can see, but we make these bracelets, and we make them with, some of them, uh, with lava beads. And so the lava beads are porous, and so it's super cool because a lot of people use, or will wear these bracelets. This is the shimmy bracelet that we sell on Moin Moin Market, but similar. So they wear these bracelets, and with the lava beads, they put the essential oil on the lava beads and so it's um the essential oil seep in and then as you wear the bracelet throughout the day the essential oil uh comes out 
and it ends up getting on your skin and it absorbs into your skin. And this type of stuff is good. You want this to be absorbed into your skin. So it only helps to build up your immunity. So it's super cool because you could buy a bracelet made by a 10 year old girl, Mercy, again, supporting Heart Ranch. And then you're also supporting Thistle Farms by buying the essential oils. So we'll love for you to check out those. And you can learn more about Mercy by getting the March subscription of the Clubhouse Magazine by Focus on the Family. Um, okay, I promised we would be a little briefer than we were yesterday. So I um, have pretty much nothing else to say except that, again, we're focusing on Thistle Farms. They are her, uh, Becca Stevens, the founder. She did reach out to us and say, hey, we are continuing to pay our employees. We're operating on a minimal staff. Many people are working from home, but we are making shipments happen. And so it's super cool. Hi, Miss Renee. Um, it's super cool that we can still be a uh, make a difference in these women's lives. And again, Thistle Farms located in Nashville, Tennessee. Super stoked that Renee just joined us because my last thing I wanted to talk about in all this free time that we all seem to be having. And by the way, if you guys, um, for those who are watching now or will be watching in the future, like this gal on social media, especially her Facebook, because her post a few days ago completely inspired me about re... Oh, yay, I love it. Yes, Love Heals Balm. They do lip balm, all of that too. So unfortunately, we don't sell them lip balm at Moi Moi yet, but we're all about sending traffic to Thistle Farms directly. So if you don't see, if you're not interested in the essential oils, the hand lotion, the hand soap, the bug spray, then go on to Thistle Farms directly and just support them directly. I so, so, so believe in that. But this gal, Renee, just has seized, her and her family um, has seized the opportunity of this downtime. And they have just made the most in figuring out ways to one, be more sustainable themselves as a family, um, more frugal with their livelihood, and uh, but also very generous in their giving. And then they're also taking this time to do things that don't cost money and just continue to uh, you know, make them better people. So I think she mentioned in her post that some of them have picked up the piano and picked up guitar and that they're focusing on being outdoors when they can. I know some of you guys don't come from a place that you can be outdoors because it's too cold, but if you're in a place that can be outdoors, go out outdoors with your family, spend time with your family in prayer, um, just encourage each other, grow a garden. There's so many things that we can be doing. And so again, find Renee on Facebook. Uh, she is super cool and has inspired me in so many ways. But the last thing I want to share with you guys, and if you're just tuning in, you can watch it once it's posted. You can go back and learn who I am, what Moi Moi Market's all about, why we're here live every single day, five to six days a week. But um, our books, I don't know what books you guys are reading right now, but if you're like me, you, you have a lot of free time. And one of the books that I've been into is Lioness Arising by Lisa Bevere. So again, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see the lioness. You guys, I would love to know what books y'all are reading, but this book is absolutely fabulous. Again, Lioness Arising by Lisa Bevere. Since we all have a lot more time to read, you want to be inspired. You want to figure out what a sisterhood is all about. And again, if you're not, you know, we welcome men. I think men can be a huge part of bringing hope and healing to issues like sexual exploitation. You know, so often they're pointed to as you're the problem, you're the reason it happens. And it's true, but there's also a group of men who are being called to make a difference and to stand up for these women who are being sexually exploited. So, um, but this one addresses mainly us women in our sisterhood. And so I would just encourage you to go on to Amazon or your whatever, wherever you buy your books and find Lioness Arising. And I think it's just a call for us women, especially after a time of crisis that we're experiencing today is to, we can be a part of the solution and not the problem and that we can't do it by ourselves and we need a group of women that we can come alongside with or who comes alongside of us and says, hey, 
let's do this. Let's charge this. Let's stand up for the people that are, are struggling. And um, not to put a sour note on this. Again, we're all, all about bringing hope and healing. But you guys, I just touched base with one of my friends who's in Liberia. And I was there in 2015 and wrote an article about the Ebola crisis. And so that was a huge pandemic that was happening in that third world country back in 2013, 2014. And then 2015, they were just starting to see signs of um, health. And so that's when we were invited in to really start to tell the story of what had happened. And so Jody, my friend who still lives in Liberia and working with this people group, we've been reaching out to all these other people outside of America going, hey, I get it. America is struggling. We are hardcore dealing with something that we have never, hello, hello, you guys. We have never experienced in our entire lives. But we can't forget how impactful this whole pandemic is going to be in those third world countries. In a place like Liberia, who has already experienced Ebola, which is a hor horrible, horrible uh, disease. And the death toll is so much higher. It's, it's ridiculous. And a lot of these places, they don't have the health care that we have here in Hawaii or in America or anywhere. So... You know, it's been interesting as we are just reaching out to a lot of our partners, or a lot of our brands that work with Moi Moi Market and just saying, hey, how can we help you? How is this affecting you guys? What does this look like for you? You know, their layoffs, uh, again, Thistle Farms is not laying off people, but there are some of the brands that we have we work with and they are having to lay off because they don't have money. Um, a place in Kenya. And the gal was like, I don't know what's to come. I don't know how I'm supposed to pay these people. And when I can't pay them, they're literally not looking at potentially contracting a virus, but they're looking at starving because they do not have money for food if I cannot pay them. And so this crisis is going to be a lot bigger unless we, as a sisterhood, lionesses arising, really start to go, hey, we, we, can, we can do this. So thank you guys for being here. I told you it's only gonna be 20 minutes a day. We're gonna be here one o'clock every single day. And for some reason it's not one o'clock, we'll let you know by a posting what time it is going to be at. But we'd love for you guys to come here, bring your questions, bring your comments, bring the books that 